Present time 2. Explanations. Present simple. Frequency adverbs are often used with the present simple. They explain how often someone does an action, or something happens. Always. I always get up at 7 o'clock. Often. Pat often a football matches. Usually, it usually rains when I go on holiday. Sometimes. We sometimes eat pizza for lunch. Rarely. Jane rarely listens to jazz. Never. My bus never arrives on time. 4. Note in the above examples that quincy adverb comes before the verb. With the verb be the adverb comes after. Jim is usually late. Other frequency adverbs are frequently, normally, occasionally, seldom, hardly ever. State verbs are used when a state is when something stays the same. An action is when something. Ends. State verbs are not usually used in any continuous form. I know what you mean. Not I am knowing what you meaning. Examples of state verbs are. Senses. Appear, hear, look like, see, taste. Feeling. Like, hate, love, pref, want, wish. Thinking. Agree, believe, forget, know, think, understand. Possession, belong to, contain, have, own. Being. Be, exist. Other. Cost, depend on, mean, need. Some of the verbs in the previous list can have a state meaning and an action meaning. Examples include be, have, taste, think. I have two sisters. Permanent state. I'm having problems with this computer. Temporary action. Sometimes state verbs can describe temporary feelings. How are you getting on at your new school? I hate, I'm hating it. Habits and routines in progress now. Facts that are always true. Events happening at the moment general situations. I live in Budapest. All the time. I'm living in Budapest. For a few months. This plane lands in Frankfurt. Routine. We're landing. In progress now. Present. The present continuous can be used to describe a fixed future arrangement. Continuous, future. There is usually a future time expression. Paul is leaving early tomorrow morning. My parents are buying me a mountain bike for my birthday. This usage is common when we describe social arrangements. Are you doing anything on Saturday? We're going skating. Other problems. Feel. There is almost no difference of meaning between the simple and continuous. I feel awful. I'm feeling awful. How do you feel now? How are you feeling now? Present continuous or present perfect continuous. Sue is staying with Jill. In progress now and will continue. Sue has been staying with Jill since March. In progress up to now and may or may not continue. Present continuous with always. We can use always with the present continuous when we are exaggerating or complaining. We emphasize always in speech in this case. You're always forgetting your keys. Present simple in narratives. In speech we can use the present simple to make a story or joke appear more immediate and interesting, even though the events were in the past. This is also used in written summaries such as plots of television series. Michael meets Susan in the library and tells her about the missing earrings.
A. You want to invite a friend to your party on Friday. You say, I'm having a party on Friday. Do you want to come? B. You find a wallet on your desk and ask the people nearby. Who does this wallet belong to? C. A friend invites you to a snack bar at lunchtime. You say, thanks, but I always go home. D. A friend opens the door and says, what are you doing? You reply, I'm repairing the computer. E. You haven't decided yet about buying a new bike. You say, I'm thinking about it. F. A friend asks, do you like lemon tea? You reply, I prefer tea with milk. G. A friend asks you if you have finished the book she lent you. You say, sorry, I'm still reading it. H. It's a hot day, but a friend has a heavy coat on. You ask, why are you wearing a heavy coat? One, that can't be right. I don't believe it. Two, Caroline can't swim today. She has a cold. Three, see you in the morning. I'm leaving now. Four, what are you doing? If you drop it, it will explode. Five, stop doing that. Bill, you're being very silly. Six, I am driving. You can sit in the back with Martin. Seven, what are we eating this evening? I'm really hungry. Eight, you're a great cook. This cake tastes wonderful. 9. Where go are you going? I haven't finished speaking to you. 10. Chemistry is hard. I don't understand it.